Hi, I'm Allison, and I've been teaching at the Ballet Physique since 2013, so I'm actually coming up to six years, I think, of teaching and being at the front desk. Um, just recently, within the last few years, I also started to manage our Littleton studio location, so I've seen a lot of things change and grow over time, which has been really, truly wonderful. Um, and I started working for the Ballet Physique right out of college, actually. I graduated from the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign with my degree in dance back in 2013. And right after graduation, moved out to Colorado. Loved it so much from the moment I took my first class, went through my audition and training. So I've kind of just stuck around ever since. My mom put me into dance, I think when I was about four. Um, and I danced at just a really small studio back in Illinois. We grew up in a very rural community. Um, and then after a few years of dancing, um, decided that I wanted to just kind of keep going with it. And over time, took it a little more seriously and I never really stopped. So I danced all the way through elementary school, middle school, high school, got up to my senior year. I would audition for the dance department at U of I. Um, and that was the only school that I applied to, <laughs> the only college that I applied to. I enjoyed dancing all the way through college, did everything from performing, to um, teaching, to learning anatomy. It was a very comprehensive program and I couldn't have asked for anything better. So I feel like it's just been a very natural part of my life from like as long as I can remember. My guilty pleasure, which I'm very open about, so I don't know if you can call it like a guilty pleasure, but my husband and I love brunch. Brunch food, breakfast food, we are like brunch foodies. We're coffee snobs. We love good coffee, um, good bakeries. So that's something we do like at least once a week is we, we go to either like our local spot or we try something new. And if there, we, there's ever um, like a, a date night or an anniversary or something that comes up, instead of getting dressed up and going out for dinner, we always wait and get dressed up and go out the next morning for breakfast just because we love breakfast food so much. So I love the community. I love the staff. I mean, I feel like this is not just my work group, but it's also my friend group. Like these are people that I hang out with all the time or that I would choose to hang out with all the time that I can talk to about really almost anything. But I also just love teaching. Um, when I graduated from school with my degree in dance, I think naturally people think dancing, performing, like that kind of leads to a professional career. But I have always been far more inclined to teach. I love teaching dance. I love teaching here. It's very fulfilling for me. It's very satisfying. I played piano for a good 10 years. So uh, my mom put my sister and I in piano lessons and I love music. Um, I was in band for a while, um, but I was pretty serious about piano. However, I know my piano teacher is probably not gonna like this comment, but I, couldn't, I could like never read sheet music. I like cannot read music, but I could always play by ear. So lessons were always kind of interesting because I had a hard time practicing on my own. But once I heard somebody else play something, I could almost always pick it up. So I think that's just kind of the way my brain works in general. I'm very, very much verbal more than I am sit down and look at something. So my all time favorite movie would be The Wizard of Oz. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. I love The Wizard of Oz, the, the original one. My mom is the same way. We're both kind of like infatuated just with the story and the movie. So I probably watch that like a handful of times every single year. Cats and babies, cats and babies. I do have one cat and he is like my baby. Um, we actually rescued him. His name is McCoy. He has a middle name. His name is McCoy Francis. It's a very fancy name. Um, we call him Mac. I did a pretty good job of convincing my husband who was not a fan of cats before. Now I think it's like his best friend in the entire world. So we have Mac. Mac is our, our first. Um, and then I am just shy of being 25 weeks pregnant with our first baby, which is really exciting. So do August 3rd um, and just like taking that one day at a time and kind of just going along for the ride. Like I feel like that's the best way to describe it is is just being a part of this journey that I've never been a part of before, but it's still so very natural. And I think being surrounded by women 
in this community um, has been a huge support in that. So it's been a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what the future holds.